first wind in my words in my head Different parts say that summer is dead Chest feels hollow and my hands are numb Do my best to swallow all the things I've done Break your back, but you still don't have bread. You won't go back on the things that you said. You bleed your heart out, and it takes every job. You've come too far now to ever stop. Wash me in the water, and I'll never go back. Even when I'm walking through dead man past You can't trust a man cause he'll just let you down Crooked and twisted we grow from the ground From dust we came in, dust we shall return Dust we came in, dust we shall return. Wash me in the water and I'll never go back, even when I'm walking through dead man past. Welcome, welcome everybody. How are we all doing today? Lovely, lovely Sunday. Nice end of the week with a Sunday stream. And I thought my car had disappeared then. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. This is, uh, oh, there we go. I was about to say, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Nice. So, yesterday we found ourselves a Razor, got it recovered, ended up here, and we just boxed it in. Now, we are quite close to the uh, D4 airfield here. So I thought today we'd have a little exploration around here. Maybe go underground, see what's going on. But welcome to every single one of you that are already in the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. Survival Dude Ashes, Solar Island lurking away there as well. Nice to see you both. And remember guys, give it a like, hit that subscribe button for me as well. If you're not already subscribed, it really does help out the channel. So. Let's jump straight into it today, shall we? First things we need to do is destroy this wall, put the wall back up. Let's just make sure we've got nothing on us, shall we? Because we're not going to be needing anything. It may be worth us making a box as well. Do 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 do. Let's do that, shall we? Got our axe on us. Let's go indeed, survival dude. Let's go indeed, mate. Let's get this done, shall we? Of course, there's no bloody trees next to me, though, is there? Okay. You can call me Ashes, faster and simple. Yeah, no worries, dude. I will do for future on. Now, I've just had a thought. 
I need to make boxes, but I don't think I have any scrap on me. Which I don't, so I'm going to have to go and get some scrap quickly. Let's, uh, let's lock this car up. There's a town just down the road, isn't there? Yeah, we can go down to these houses here and grab some. Uh, no point really taking the car out with us, is there? Where did I cut down that tree? <laughs> Where did all my logs just go? What's going on? Guys, I'm being stupid, aren't I? Definitely being stupid. It's not a great start to the stream, is it? Brain cells are already not kicking in. I'm sure I just cut down a tree like right here, did I not? <laughs> Oh, it's here. Here we go. Bloody hell. I'm on one already today, ain't I? Told you, you're going to be in for an exciting one today. <laughs> Let's get this locked up quickly so it's just not sat in the open. It's still blue pill, so as long as we've got it locked up, no one can get to it. So once we lock this up, we'll go get some scrap, we'll come back, we need to make a couple of boxes, put our stuff that's in the car in said boxes, put boxes in said car, we'll lock up again, and then we'll go down to D4F field, get my words out, get down to uh, D4 airfield, and have a little look around and see what we can find. But it's nice that we've got ourselves a car early on, it does help us out. How's everyone's Sunday going so far? Been doing anything nice? Any plans for the evening? Oh, and uh, since the other day when my uh, my car broke down, I've been thinking about legally changing my name. Carlos. I'm sorry, that was such a bad joke. I'm a dad now, alright? I've got to work on my dad jokes. They've got to be bad. That's the whole point. <laughs> At home, brother. Relaxing. Lovely. What you want to be doing on a Sunday, though, isn't it, really? Come here. Come on. Don't be like that. Right then, really do with making some room here somewhere, putting some of this crap in here, just for now, give us some room for the, uh, the scrap that we're going to go grab. Gab on, get out of me pockets, keep the apple and the, uh, the water on us, everything else can go, we did you we do need to make some more arrows at some point. Indeed we do. Alright. Let's just get this secure quickly. That'll do. Lovely jubbly. Nice and easy. What do I think about the state of the game right now? Yeah, it's it's touch and go really, isn't it? Especially with the um the whole hall system at the moment. Don't get me wrong, like I went down into a, a bunker a couple of days ago on stream and the puppet spawns weren't that bad. Um but I did hear quite a few complaints about the bunkers and stuff like that. But it's more the underground areas at the moment that are having issues, I think, with puppet spawns more than anything. Um, before we walk away, make some more arrows. But yeah, I'm I'm enjoying the game still. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm looking forward to what's coming with 1.0. I do think it's gonna change the the game completely, especially when it comes to the whole 
you know, Scum just being a PvP game. I think that's really going to allow Pv PvE players to add to their servers more, especially when they have enemies now to fight other than just obviously puppets, um, which is quite nice, obviously, because when you're on a PvE server, you haven't got the whole player threat. So having those extra elements that help out that side of the game is, I think, really important right now. Um, obviously, Scum over the past you know, a couple of years, two, well, a couple of years, quite a past few years, has been primarily a PvE, a PvP, you know, raiding game. Um, which I don't think the devs ever wanted it to get to that point. I think the devs always wanted it to be, you know, a story-based sort of survival game as such. It, you know, it has a lore to it and an essence to it. Um, which is what I've always liked about Scum. And, you know, we can see with the trailers as well recently that it's uh, it's becoming more, you know, less less PvP sided and more PvE, you know, working together, trying to escape off the island, you know, coming one and fighting against the corporation is the whole idea of the game, you know, the, the, the presence of it. So I think if they if they go more towards that with 1.0 and obviously in future when they when they carry on with the game, I think it will it will serve the game a lot better than uh, than what it is now. But I think a lot of people are just hung up on the whole 0 0.95 side of things um, not being great. You know, I think we were so used to a system that we had for, what, six years? The same spawning system. And now it's changed and it's not perfect. It's, it's you know, it's wrong to do. And realistically, it's not. But... Yeah, you know, everyone has their own opinion. Hello, Jan. How you doing, buddy? And Melka, lovely jubbly. How you doing? I miss the old days. Yeah, but that's what I mean. I think people get so used to, to playing a certain way. Um, you know, you know, think think back when Abandoned Bunkers came into the game and how much that changed with Razors and, you know, Mr. Brenner coming in and taking away the essence of, you know, just being able to run into a bunker, loot it up and then get out of there. And... People hated that, but they got used to it, and now there's not an issue with it. it. The only issue with those that side of things now is the whole spawning side, which is, again, because of a new system. So I feel once we've got, you know, a balance with that spawning side of things, it's going to do the game a lot better. But again, I think we're going to have to wait for 1.0 anyway, because obviously NPCs are going to be running off that system. So it's going to obviously take a toll on development side of things, getting things right. And like I always say, we just need to have patience with the devs, you know. It will get there eventually. Survival nets needs to get harder. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 what I mean. Like the whole PvE side of stuff isn't enough yet. You know, I, I wish there was more um base building elements as well as threats to play a base roaming around the map. And I hope that obviously we've seen in dev updates that we're getting NPCs. We're getting NPCs that are in vehicles as well. So that opens up the possibility of patrols, opens up the possibility of uh, reaction forces. You know, we're getting drop ships. This could be a whole side of a new way of them, you know, dropping in, um, dropping in, you know, the drops that come down, the lock drops. It could be a way of dropping one of them in with a squad around it instead of the puppets. And again, that adds an extra threat of, you know, not just puppets, which would be good, I feel. I feel. It'll open up a lot, as I said, with um, with PvE side of servers. Because I feel like PvE players at the moment are the ones that are probably complaining the most. And I, I see why, you know. Scum is going to get even harder. We have, to, we have it easy now. Yeah, exactly. Right now, this is so easy compared to what's coming into the game in the future. You know, some things that have been teased obviously probably won't come in now, um, like some of the abominations and stuff, but who knows? Maybe when modders get hold of the game, someone that did like one of those ideas will bring that in. Medical system and weight system really need an update. Yeah, the medical system's had an update already. This has already been updated, this side of things. And I prefer it this way because obviously it keeps this whole infantry side open all times. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a quite a few different things in this area that need working on. 
as you said, weight system. It's, I'd, I'd like to see more work done to constitution as well. I don't think this is balanced 100%. Maybe it's because it's one of the most difficult sort of stats to get up, I find, but I just find it's not particularly balanced that well. Hermanus, nice to see you. Welcome in, welcome in. Hi, mate. Love the Antistasi playthrough. Just popped up to tell you. Please keep up the good work. Yeah, of course, buddy. Next one's going to be out on Tuesday. Um, after May as well, I hope to be doing some armor streams. So at the moment, obviously, I'm only off one day a week. So after May, hopefully, it'll be three, four days, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. But if that is the case, then I can do an armor stream as well. There's a lot of bunker and new ones around the map. Less would do the trick. Yeah, but I feel like they're going to be using these bunkers um, a bit better in the future, especially with NPC responses and things like this. But yeah, I feel like they've they've kind of taken those bunkers away, in essence, in a way with the whole timer thing now. So obviously we haven't got, you know, 20 odd bunkers all open at the same time, um, which I feel is a lot better as well. Gives it that more of a challenge. I think once we come out of early access, then it's fine to complain about stuff because after official launch, there shouldn't be issues we have been having for years yet. And that's the point I've always made. You know, it's early access and we need to be sort of patient with the devs and understanding, you know, game development isn't easy. And especially when you look at the scale of this game, you know, it's, it's massive. It's a big undertaking and, you know, it started off as a very small team. So they've come a long way from when it, where it was like when I started playing, it was... 0 0.2, 0 0.3 maybe. And since then it's come like hurdles. You know what I mean? So it just needs some more time, obviously. Scum God Millionaire smashing it. <laughs> they just need to stop listening to complain community so much. I think most of us like AB. People are just louder when they don't like something. Yeah, that's that is exactly true, mate. You know, and it is always the ones that aren't happy that get heard because they're the ones shouting the loudest, you know. It's, um, like, it's, it's like, from, from my point of view, I, I don't like the whole toxic side of this community. You know, I find that there's people that don't long, no longer play scum, that still hang around the community and just make it a toxic sort of environment for people because they don't enjoy the game anymore. But, you know, that's that's down to them if they want to waste their time and life doing that sort of thing. You know, Scum's going to go places, in my opinion. We've got, like, 20,000 concurrent players every day at the moment. And people are saying it's a dead game, which always makes me laugh. Ooh, bit of thread and a rake it beanie. I mean, like, broken bones, diseases, etc. Yeah, things like that will come in as well, um, eventually. The broken bone side of things is going to be very interesting. But I, I need to see this whole movement rework before I see broken bones, I think. Because if they keep in this whole thing where you could run it down a hill, you hit a rock and you fly 10 foot in the air, you know, and get yourself a C2, that's going to break legs, you know, let's be honest. So if they're going to keep it that way and then bring, and then bring broken bones into it, it's going to be a bit detrimental, I think. Um, so yeah, they're going to have to obviously balance all that out as well. Why are you shivering sounding like a female? Another feature. Are you talking about like IRL or my character? <laughs> talking about IRL, then it's probably because I'm trying to do 10 things at once right now, Melka. This chat's going mad right now. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Yes, man, would like to sit in on that armor stream. Yeah, yeah, after May, I'll um I'll get some armor streams going. Maybe we'll start like an anti Stasi series on a different map with a couple of different mods or something, like Ace Mod and that. And then uh I think that'd be quite interesting for us to do. I remember when cars didn't need petrol or got damaged. Yeah, exactly. Those were the days though. Oh, I missed. I really don't like compound bows. I'm not a massive fan of them. I prefer a good uh, good recurve bow. So if we can find one, I'm definitely going to swap it out. Mm. 
I mean, we've realistically come here for scrap, but we may as well just have a quick look around here. Eh? Won't hurt. We flew up the map. Meow. <laughs> I'm not even bothering with the tower. Last time I went up there, there was nothing up there. Usually nothing up there, so not really much point. It's not even close to a dead game. Yeah, exactly. And you, you think, right, with, like, people compare Scum a lot to Daisy and say Daisy's obviously better. But in my opinion, obviously Daisy's had double the amount of development time. It's had modders in forever, you know, so it's always been improved by modders. And if you look at DayZ, you know, 90% of the servers run on mods. And that's why, in essence, it's better. Why people think it's better. So you think when this game gets modders allowed to, you know, take the code and do what they want to it, you think where the where that's going to go. I've said it before, that the modder community is like a weird but wonderful place. Don't get me wrong, but it'll be amazing to see what some people actually do with this game. I'll give it two more years and the game will go boom. See, but this is the thing I said recently, I think in the last news video. It's nice to see that the devs and obviously Game Pires, Jagex, are now working towards that marketing side of things. You know, the trailer that we saw was a was a very, like, basic trailer, as I said in, in the news video. And it was. It's not like a really flash, fancy trailer or nothing. It's just showing you the basics of the game and what could happen potentially, you know. And it was really nice because it's... It's pushing the game out to new people now. Whereas a lot of the marketing now, or for the last six years, has been obviously streamers, content creators. So it's nice to see them doing that side of things because that will really help with the uh, with it going boom eventually, you know. My character, oh, my character's a little biatch, that's why. <laughs> I think I'm pretty cold. I haven't got much on, so I do have an extra layer or two. Silence before the storm. Exactly. Really pick that up. I don't think I've got bolts. Oh, I might have a box of bolts in the car, actually. Anyway, Malka, how was your holiday? Enjoy yourself. Phoenix, nice to see you in a stream. How you doing? How's your week been, bud? P finally caught you live. Yeah, man. I was gonna say, I think I'm sure this is the first streamer you've uh, you've been in. Nice to see ya. Long long time member right there. Appreciate all your support over the uh the past what is it, eight, eight, nine months, I think. Been a while, I know that much. I do miss Tommy's love though, yeah. I do miss his uh all his updates and stuff. He did post something earlier. I think a modder added a um, suicide vest to the Daisy zombies. <laughs> so, yeah, that was quite funny. But yeah, other than that, I, I think he just got tired of the whole posting something in the future and then people just saying, or oh, why are you showing us this when there's so many broken things in the game? And, you know, that old line that people went down every single time. It's, uh, I think that's, that's, Kind of got to the end, the, the edge of him, and he was like, Do "You know what? I can't be asked anymore." So, as usual, it's the uh, it's the minority that ruin it for the majority. Unfortunately, nine times out of ten, people that are complaining about it are the ones not even playing Scum anymore. <laughs> like I had someone comment on that news video the other day that I did, saying this game's dead, or something along them lines. I, I replied with, well, why are you here watching scum videos then? And they said, oh, I didn't watch it. I just put a comment and then left. And I thought, well, how sad and pathetic of you, my friend. 
you have nothing better to do with your life than to go around and be toxic in a community that you don't want nothing to do with. Like, <laughs> what's the point? But there's people like this on the earth, isn't there? And there always will be because they're uh, wet flannels, shall we say. Anyway, I think we've got enough scrap for a couple of boxes, so let's get back up to the car, make a couple of boxes, empty that all out, and then we'll get down to the airfield, have a little look around, shall we? Get some excitement going in the stream. Any goals for today, or are we winging it? Yeah, no, I was just uh, just running down here to get some scrap. Need to make some boxes, so we've got some extra storage space in the uh, car. And then we're going to head down to D4 airfield and most likely die multiple times, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> Malcolm, my holiday was amazeballs. Glad to be back. I have to get a few things done, but it was epic. Thank you for your asking. Yeah, I saw a couple of little videos and stuff. Those, uh, those starlings were lovely. But yeah, I can't wait. Oh, three more weeks, mate. Three more weeks and I go away for two weeks. I can't wait. Two weeks in Tenerife on a beach. Oh, be a dream. It's needed, man. <laughs> After the year I've had so far, it's needed. I think they're just moving marketing on official channels. <laughs> Those logs still over here. Of course not. Of course bloody not. What's the plan for today? Some PvP. Yeah, if we come across anyone, then possibly. You know, generally I try and be friendly, but it all depends on the uh, on the situation, doesn't it? So, we'll see. See what we come across. Oh, got myself a bug. Are these still over here then? No. Hello? Oh, this is, oh that'd be white. That would be white. You dumbass. You goddamn dumbass. To be honest, let's not do that. Let's just uh, take it in our hands, shall we? Peace and Nudgy, nice to see you. What's up, mate? How are you doing? How's your Sunday been? Oh, there's planks over here already. God damn it. God damn it, guys. Such a dumbass. Uh, we need a toolbox as well to make boxes, don't we? If I'm remembering rightly. Have a quick look. Yeah. I don't think we have a lead plate, so we're probably going to have to make wooden boxes sure I picked up a lead plate yesterday but I'm maybe thinking of the series I think I'm thinking of the series right let's just make a toolbox then got nails got scrap got all the bits we need for one he says no we don't I need to make myself a billy club it's the easiest thing to do or wooden club whatever you want to call it Get one of these made. Use that as a hammer. Lovely bit of coffee. Oi. I'm so excited for you. Let's go. You deserve it. Thanks, Melka. It's nice to have you back in the... Uh, back on the online, shall we say. In the community. We did miss you. All right, make one of these up, and then we'll uh, get some boxes made, shall we? Ba da ba da 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 ba da 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 da. Fifteen bloody panks! God damn it! I really need to get my engineering skill up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Did we use the tools we looted from the kitchen the other day? No, they're still in the car, mate. We grabbed them, when did we, we grabbed them yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Some poor sod set up a uh, whole kitchen, and then we come along and just steal it. 
But no, we haven't used it yet. We still got our chicken in the car as well, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to cut that up and probably eat that at some point. A little celebrator uh, celebratory meal for us. Need to find some seasoning and stuff. We've got some salt, I think, but nice to find some pepper if we can. Season things up properly, you know. I might be Caucasian, but I like my seasoned meat. <laughs> Still red pill, I might hop in, in a bit and do some lootings. I'm on the solar duo server at the moment. But the red pill on series side of things should be ending today, I think. This evening at some point. Uh nine nine PM this evening, I think. Which is in do, 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 five and a half hours. Ah, no worries, Malco. You're a big part of this community. We all appreciate and love you. Yeah, bud. I want to get down the bloody air airfield. I haven't been down there yet since it's uh, had its all rework and stuff. So it'd be nice to get down there. Have a little look around. Need all these logs anyway because we're going to have to rebarrier this up. We may as well move all them all over and then we can uh, chop them all up with a branch. This is only a temporary sort of base so I was thinking about making a base. Just because we got the car now, it would make sense to, and then we can put mines and stuff around, and it's not just a uh, just four basic walls that way. Glad to see the Rager made it through the night. Hello, Nikki. Welcome in. Welcome in. Nice to see you again. Yes, it did. It did. As I said, as long as we don't have a, a door on here, it, as long as it's in blue pill, we'll be fine. They can't get it out of there, so it's all right. 20 watching and only 14 likes. Blasphemy. That is blasphemy. The scum gods will be displeased with every single one of you if you haven't hit that like button already. Come on, guys. Give it a hit for me and push the stream out to some more people. Why not? And if you're sitting there and you haven't subbed yet and you want to join in with the chat, give me a sub. Go on. I'm trying to hit 5k this year, so with all your help, I'm sure we could get that. But the uh, Ray Kit and the RKA came in yesterday and raided us, which was nice. That put us over our 3k mark. Which is lovely. Really did help us out, that did. Yeah, of course you're not going to go in there as well, are you? <laughs> About you? Nah. Right, let's fill you up with the uh, little bits then, shall we? Give us some more room in here. Be nice. Then we we'll get the other box and put the other seat in this in it. Lovely jubbly. Not too fussed uh, about mess at the moment. We can uh, sort the inventory out another time. That one's full. Get ourselves another one made then, shall we? God damn it, I'm one scrap short. Ah, you, you, you bastard. <laughs> Oh, uh, why do you, why must you do this to me? Why must you make me suffer? It's been a long day without you, my friend. Oh yeah, there's our pineapple. We shot that out yesterday, didn't we? That was a fun one. <laughs> Put this all at the top and it will reorganize it a bit. Give us a bit more room than that way. Don't really need the lights anymore, but it's alright. Keep them there for now. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Meow. Really? 
just go up here like this. Smart, wouldn't it? It would be. It would be smart. Right, so is this going to fit now? Yeah, lovely jubbly. Put that in there, put that in there. Uh, William Grant, thank you very much for the gift, mate. Very much appreciated there. Thanks for all the helpful videos. <laughs> Thanks for all helpful videos. And that you're more than welcome, my friend. You're more than welcome. More than happy to help people out. We're really missing that much. Do you know what? Stuff it. Stuff it, guys. I had to put the wrong seat in the box, though, didn't I? <laughs> right, let's take that seat out of there. Let's put this seat in here. Put that in our hands. Put that in here. Put the box back in there. And let's just drive down there and get some scrap, shall we? Because I'm not locking this up again to... Then have to break it down and lock it up again. <laughs> Come on! Start the bloody car, mate! Jesus Christ! It's lucky we're not trying to get out of here in a rush, isn't it? Hey. Right? Wonder how steep this is. God, that's bloody. It's not too bad, really, is it? Actually, when you think about it, we're in a four by four. Realistically, should be able to handle it. Shit. Oh shit. This isn't good. Oh no. Back on up. Back on up. <laughs> Everyone, give a uh, hashtag William for me. Give a little GG. Big thanks to you, man. Appreciate that. I really do. I'll stick that in the pot. And that'll go towards the channel. There'll be no bloody scrap down here, is there? Light urban. Oh, we need to paint a bit of light urban, don't we? Because it matches my name. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> There's no scrap down here. I don't know why I bloody drove all the way down there. Need some scrap. I completely forgot about the solo duo server, to be honest. I need to check it out at some point. Eep. <laughs> Rake it. How you doing, buddy? Welcome in. I'm doing well, my friend. I'm doing well. Just, uh, we're out looking for some scrap, and I've driven all the way down here for no reason, so. Stupid brain cells, eh? My man started rock climbing. <laughs> Having a little ch chilled Sunday stream. Finish the week off. It's always nice to do like this. I do enjoy the Sunday streams. Ooh, hello, car. How you doing? It's a nice little easy uh, money maker right there. We can find some wheels for it. How's your Sunday going, Ray? All good, brother. I hope so. Having a nice chilled one. It's just a day off, isn't it? There's only the two cars up here, isn't there? There's no bloody good to us, is it? You shut your damn mouth. No one likes you. Not even your own mother. All right. Let's go down the road. There's another little uh, area down here. Should be some scrap for us. It's all right, mate. Been busy. Nice. Good to keep yourself busy, anyway, mate. I can't be. I can never be asked sitting around doing nothing. It's too boring. That's why I decided to stream for the last three days. 
had no work, so I thought, oh, why the hell not? I'm probably going to be playing games anyway. I might as well entertain some people while I'm at it, eh? I just looked over and realised my gamma's really high. Sorry, guys. Let me, uh... Turn that down for you. Must have looked awful. There you go. Apologies. Should have checked that before I started, but you know, six brain cells and all. Streaming is life, mate. <laughs> Just sorted my life out too. Oh yeah, that's always a fun one, isn't it, mate? Only need one bit of scrap for the uh, other box to be absolutely honest with you, so let's get out of it. Get back up there, sort that out, and we get down the airfield. That's what we're supposed to be doing today. Gotta to run, smash like everyone. No worries, dude. Thanks for popping in. Lovely to see you as always. I'll catch you in the week. Come on, you lump. Bloody hell. Nearly there. Only going up here and then lock it back up. Sorted. We'll get moving. Oh, bloody hell. A bit bumpy. Oi. Just make sure you don't pop out while drifting, given you've got no doors. <laughs> you imagine. Really need some seatbelts. Oh, God, in these cars. I knew I was going to hit a tree then. Stupid. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Alright, let's put that in there. Go and stick that in there. Don't really need to do this, but we're going to do it anyway, just in case. There we go. Alright, let's leave all this crap in here, shall we? We're not going to need any of it. All we want is our bow, our cleaver, and some arrows. We did actually want the water though, didn't we? Dumbass. It's empty. Alright, keep the apple on us then. Uh, that's not good. Wrong box. Give me that. Let's repair this quickly. Right. Uh, we've got five emergency bandages on us. Bring some of that with us. Just in case. You never know. You never know. We've got a sewing kit. We have another one somewhere. 
Not in that one. Oh, it's right there. Let's take that with us as well. Painkillers, bandages, antiseptic. Do, 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 do. We want some... Is there lockers down there? God, it's been so long, I actually can't remember. Is there lockers down in the D4 airfield? You know what? Let's just take a couple of these with us, just in case. Just in case, you know. Some cereal. Lovely jubbly. Arsus Ninja, welcome in, buddy. Put your popcorn at the ready, I see. Always good to have. Right. That's, uh... Jesus Christ. Let's lock this place up, and then we'll head down to the airfield. I'm very, uh, interested in going underneath, underground, and, uh, see what's new. I've heard there's been quite a few changes down there. I know the airfield itself has had a lot of um, like foliage added to it. It'll be interesting to see. New subscription received. Dispensing gratitude. Gratitude dispensed. Salt beard, thank you very much for the subscription, my friend. Hope you've had a wonderful Sunday so far. Welcome in. Give it a moment and you can uh, join in with the rest of the community in the chat, buddy. I think it's a minute timer on it. But again, thank you very much for the new sub. Much appreciated. We'll lock this up. It's a bit of a boring bit, guys, I know. But we'll uh, we'll get this done quickly and then we'll go die continuously on the D4 airfield. Because <laughs> you know it's going to happen with me and my brain cells. Those mechs on this server are one banging at the moment, so the uh, I think the damage has been turned up on them a little bit because every time I come across a mech right now, it shoots me once and I die instantly. I mean, it would help if I had a bit of armor on, maybe, but still, I don't want to die every time, all right, guys, but I just can't help it. My brain cells tell me to run when I shouldn't run, and then. Three mechs look at me at the same time. <laughs> it's a talent, really. It's a talent to be this bad. It really is. Alright, let's get these cut up. Once we've got enough, we we'll put the axe back in the car as well, just so it's not taking up space. Do, 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 do. Entertain me. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I'm back, was AFK. At Rake it. Yeah, he left. He only popped in quickly. Just to say hello, drop a like, because he's a legend like that. What a wonderful Sunday, eh? Nice, lovely end to the week. Can't do no better than a bit of a scum stream, can you, eh? But yeah, we were going to do a, a random stream last night. If you were looking forward to that, do apologise. I got a bit too carried away on the server. And <laughs> we ended up doing a six and a half hour scum stream yesterday. So, do apologise. But scum is life at the moment. Other than armour. I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning, I will be honest, playing Gold Rush. <laughs> oh, it's been renamed now to Gold Mining Simulator. But yeah, I was uh, I was watching Gold Rush last night with my partner before she went to bed. And it got me in the mood to run my own go gold mine for some reason. So from like 9 o'clock till 2am, I was sat there playing it. <laughs> hyper-focusing for like five hours straight, like, hmm, 
looked at the time and was like, ah, oh, I've got to be up early with my uh, daughter, so I best go to bed. <laughs> But yeah, we'll definitely do some uh, some like random streams after May for sure. We'll mix it up a little bit. We'll do we'll do the scum Sundays like normal, like we are today, and then maybe in the weekday we'll do one in the weekday, maybe one on the Friday as well. Um, all depends what days I choose to obviously go to work. So we'll see, we'll see. I get one shot in full kit. You don't suck, dude. They're just fat bullets. <laughs> they are, mate. They're freaking 50 BMG bullets, aren't they? They shoot out, I think. But yeah, those things will rip you apart. But yeah, it's just constant at the moment. I'm just constantly dying. I'm just having a mare the past week. You'll see all that in the uh, in the series videos over the next few weeks. <laughs> things have not gone well. Right, let's craft us up. Some arrows. I'm supposed to put the axe back when I before I did that. <laughs> Dumbass. The mechs are on crack when they shoot. Guns made by Optimus Prime. <laughs> I'm really starting to think that Tony Stark is the uh, head of tech one. Whatever these mechs fire make BMG look small. <laughs> Would be interesting to know what they are actually firing because I know you do find 50 BMG if you down one. So that's, that was my thinking that's what they fire, but you never know. It's the least of your worries, really, isn't it? Especially when they start shooting those bloody grenades and tear gas grenades and all sorts at you. It's all fun and games then, isn't it? Take these out of there. All right, then. Let's go on a little adventure, shall we? Are you ready, kids? Oh, I'm going to die so fucking much. Yes, I am. <laughs> Mate, they must be some stale bagels. These things knock you out clean. Ninja bagels. <laughs> oh, let's have a bit of coffee while I'm running, eh? See, I've never really looted this little radar place here. Is it is it worth it? Because I know there's mechs in here patrolling, so I'm not going to get too close to them actually, so we'll start shooting. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, you're a big boy, ain't ya? Oi. Big boy, who ate all the cream cakes? Sorry. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I told you, no, we're fucking near it. <laughs> God damn, son! Do you mind? I was I was only running past. I wasn't coming in. Jesus. These mechs have got real attitude issues, haven't they? It's like a stroppy teenager when you walk in the room. Oh, get out, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm lurking and doing nerd stuff. No worries, Malka. No worries. I'd like to know when your next video's coming out. That was what I was going to ask you. If you don't know already, guys, and you're not subbed to her, go over to Malka's channel and give her a quick sub. She's uh, she started doing a bit of content creation. And it's not bad work, mate. It's not bad work at all. So head on over there and give her a like for me. Give her a sub as well. 
really does help her out. And the best thing, it doesn't cost you a dime. Are you underneath me? No, you're there. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's nice to see you here again. That's what I'm going to be singing in a minute when one of these mechs catch me. Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me then, but he's underneath me, isn't he? <laughs> it always gets me. I did notice, though, when I was in that active bunker the other day, that the, oh, pardon me, that the mechs are, um, are less noisy from above, if you know what I mean. Which is good. I mean, the sound team are doing denoising at the moment, so it'd be nice to see that the bunkers actually are soundproof with 1.0 as such, you know. I don't want to be hearing mechs like above me running walking around while I'm 10 foot underground like between like 20 foot of concrete <laughs> doesn't make sense but attitude they're straight up sarcastic at times <laughs> oh thanks for the love no worries Malka you've uh, you've supported me enough along with Raker over the over the year year and a half I've been doing this so reciprocated you know as I say swings and roundabouts mate swings and roundabouts we're all one big community at the end of the day aren't we and we all want to see scum succeed so the more people that are uh, pushing that content out there the better for the game really isn't it I keep searching these bunkers like I'm actually going to find something decent when you find naff all in these anymore. Which is disappointing. I used to love coming up here and finding myself like a nice car 98 or an M1 Garand or something. Oh, uh, used to love it. Now, sweet fuck all. What do y'all get? Other than a bullet to the face and if you're caught. <laughs> Right, I don't want to go to that end one because you can't get in, I don't think. I don't want you seeing me either. Go back this way and we'll go in the door down there. Is there not a door underneath me here? Or is it around the corner here? There's an entrance somewhere. It's here. That mech's gonna see me. Oh shit, this is well high. Don't see me. <laughs> Friend of the bush down there. Nice. Fuck it. Shut up, you mug. No one likes you. I was waiting for him to come in, but oh, that's a point actually. We should adjust this, shouldn't we? Give it a little repair, and then we'll adjust it. Jabbly jabbly. Oh, god damn it. 
<laughs> Back in a second, guys. Perfect time for you guys to go and make yourself a drink or a toilet. Do anything you need to do quickly because it's going to be a couple of minutes before we get back into the server. All right. And we're back. Server reboot, always in the middle of something good. Yeah, I know. It's just lucky I wasn't driving around really when it, because my car would be two miles down the road. <laughs> right then. A little explore around, shall we? Oh, bollocks. Can I go not get in this way either? They blocked all these entrances off now. I'm sure you used to be able to get in this one. Because the end one you can't get in either. It's no bloody good for us. We're stuck in now, aren't we? God damn it. Even the server is scared of the mechs. <laughs> True S armor. Nice to see you, bud. How you doing? I have this game and got killed a bunch. And now I've taken my ball and went home, so to speak. <laughs> It's not easy to start if you play alone, but it's very fun. Yeah, exactly. It is. It's it's one of those games, man. It's got a bit of a learning curve to it, but I think it looks more intimidating than it really is, especially for new players when you come in and you see like all this stats and stuff. It's very easy to get along with. It's very user-friendly, especially now with the crafting rework and stuff like this. Obviously, you've got the, uh, you've got the codex now as well. Um, tutorials are back, stuff like that, so... That really does help as well. Um, yeah, it's still in early access. It's supposed to be full release with 1.0. That should be this year. But I wouldn't expect it before, you know, July. I think it's going to be after July, if I'm absolutely honest. Maybe end of July, beginning of August. Maybe into September. But I don't think any later than September. But who knows? Who knows, eh? How great would it be if you could attach an RV to cars like moving base? Yeah, I've 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 actually asked the devs for this for um the past few years. <laughs> if we can get an RV or a trailer or something, um, it would be good. 
I'm really confused of why I can't get through here. I know they've reworked it, but have they actually blocked every door up now? So that's the case. I might die trying to get out of here now. Oh, sugar. This should be fun. It's going to be the easiest way to get out of here. Probably to the right, isn't it? Probably, he says. No, left, go left, go left, go left, quick. He, please, please have mercy on my soul. Because I'm pretty sure that one in there is blocked off as well. And if that's not the last door, the last door is blocked. So, yeah, let's go back up. Might have to go right down the bottom end and go through the far door. Been a while since I've been here. Oh god, I know we worked it as well, so. Not quite sure what they've done. We need to go up that pathway there and dip up there. We're in a bit of a predicament here. All these bloody mechs walking around. I really think, though, they should include the whole line of sight thing with mechs, puppets, like everything. Because obviously it's nice and all having it with the player base. So you can't obviously third peak, third view peek around the corner. But it would be really immersive to add that for obviously NPCs, puppets, you know, mechs, things like this. It would make it a lot more immersive. But again. Oh Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> you thought it was one right next to me then. <laughs> Every time I run over this bit it gets me. Climb out. I'm willing now. That was uh, that would have been very risky there to climb out of that. These mechs are uh, these mechs shoot you once and you're dead. I seem to be getting one banged every single time. But apparently it's not just me, so it makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> is there a map in this game like Armor where you can zoom? No, the only map we've got is this one at the moment. Um, you can't zoom on and on it, but they are actually. Supposedly, they're taking this map out, um, so you don't actually have a map, and possibly having uh, a lootable map, so you'll have to find it by looting and find a map yourself, like Project Zomboid does, um, which would be good. But no, you can't see the enemies on the map. Um, it's more of like a hardcore realism sort of thing. I mean, maybe if we had, like, GPSs in Scum and drones, then that way we could ping enemies on the map. That would be good. Or on the GPS, but as it stands, no, the only the only sort of thing we get is this. And obviously you can see where I am by this red dot up here. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I was showing someone something. I do apologise. I don't want your cookies. Please leave me alone. Please, please, for the love of God. God damn it, true, you're getting me in trouble here. <laughs> oh. He's going to come up here now as well, if I remember rightly. There's a way of them getting up to this bit. Taking the map away would hurt. I I, I can see for, for how like a brand new player coming into this, it would hurt. But if they gave us the option to find like a GPS or find a map, then I, I think that would be okay, in essence. Because, you know, they are going for that that hardcore sort of survival game. So, it makes sense for them to do it. Okay, he's not coming up. Good, good. But yeah, like this. I'd like to see, like, the mechs disappear here, like players would. Because I haven't got line of vision on them. So I did this, and then I'd see it. I think that would be a lot more immersive. Obviously, you'd still be able to hear them and stuff when they're walking past like a big rock, but 
Yeah, I'd uh, I'd like to see that. I'm trying to path my move now. Where are we going? Let's wait for these guys to do their uh, their turn. I want to see the time in a bit. I get no time at all. Okay, great. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to get down in here then? Oh, he's not going to see me from there. Don't break your leg. Don't break your leg. Don't break your leg. Please. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to have to run this, aren't I? There's no way of me going to be able to... Uh, I'm going to be able to get in there without one of these guys seeing me. Hmm. Be nice to be able to loot a down mech. You can now. Yeah, you can get stuff like um, BCU chips and stuff off them. Um, BMG ammo. Things like that. But it does take a lot to take them down. I think with one of these guys, I think the RPG, it's like 10 rounds maybe, 8 rounds, something like that. I think I did a guide on it a little while ago. Who runs the world? I remember being a convict but didn't have any clue what to do. It's a company or a corporation called Tech One um, that control the island and control the prisoners. Okay, now I'm screwed. You stay down there, buddy. I'm just gonna run for it for a minute. Go. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh shit. That was <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. Why did I why did I why didn't I jump from that high? <laughs> One brain cell said jump, and as soon as I did it, the other ones were like, ah, oh, facepalm, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? It's the question I ask myself in the mirror daily. <laughs> Let's go back to the sector. I told you guys it's going to be a day of dying at D4 Airfield. All right. Parachute. I wish I had a parachute then. It would have helped, wouldn't it? Lucky we're not too far away. I don't know if we're going to be able to get our stuff, but... If we're this side, it may be worth going into the half moons and seeing if we can find a EMP grenade. So that would really help us out there. Faster than the speeding bullet. <laughs> that death was faster than the speeding bullet. Oh. Uh, we will do it. <laughs> Streets and Cami Gaming, nice to see you. How you doing? Welcome into the stream, bud. Let's get rid of that card. We don't need that. Um, If we are going to the half moons, we are going to have to make a bow and arrow. Because they are going to have puppets inside them, aren't they? Let's not be completely stupid about this. And then, hopefully we get an EMP grenade in there. If we do, happy days. We we'll take that mech down and we can go get our stuff back. So, when, when you die in scum, as it stands at the moment, you either get a random spawn, a sector respawn, which is what I just used, or a uh, bed spawn. So your bed spawns are usually generally at your base or wherever, you, wherever you've placed a, uh, a bed. And that costs one gold. And then your sector respawns and your random respawns cost separate as well. But again, it depends on the server and stuff like that. But they all cost money, essentially, to respawn. You've got permadeath as well, which is at minus 2,500, which is... Vanilla, I think. I think that's what it is on this server as well. Why am I being long about this? Let's do it this way. Make a quick axe up. 
And then uh, from there we can get rid of this bloody knife because they're useless at the moment. Took one look at you and said, not today, son. Yeah. <laughs> Gone done screwed me over, mate. I screwed myself over because as soon as I jumped, I knew I was going to land and at least have a limp. And as soon as I had that limp with that mech there, I was dead. I was gone, mate. So your sector respawns, you can choose from each of these sectors. So then I could have just chosen to spawn down here if I wanted to, in essence. Or you choose a random respawn, which is 250, so it's very cheap. But you get put anywhere on the island. You get it dropped, as you've just seen them, with a parachute. Um, so sometimes it's not ideal with random respawns, especially if you die. It's good to have some money in the bank so you can get some sector respawns, and that way you can get back to your body. Hopefully, and get your stuff back. Yeah, so the red dots where where you are located on the map there. Yeah. So we're not too far away. We died like in here, so we're not too far away from it. Oh, there's not enough rope on that. Are you for real, my friend? Are you for real? All right, let's quickly make. A bow. We'll make a bag quick. We'll strip off the orange stuff. And then we'll get moving down to those uh, half moons. Mr. Ganolius. The Ganolius. Sorry. <laughs> I tell you what, the last couple of days I've not been able to talk. I've been talking too much. So probably the most I've spoken the past three days over the past year. <laughs> not a very social person. I keep myself to myself. But yeah, that uh that six and a half hour stream took took my uh vocal cords a strain yesterday. <laughs> I was croaking and all sorts, started getting voice cracks. I was like, oh god, here we go. Yeah, so so like in armor, so like you see in my anti stasi stuff, when I when I die, if I go back, obviously your body's still there. So it's the same in scum. Um so I can run back there now and get my stuff. This this map isn't as big as obviously armor. Uh, if you ran from one side of armor map to the other, it'd take you absolutely hours. Um depending on your running speed, you can generally do one of these in about ten minutes, I'd say, on an average sort of running speed. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 to cover the whole map. Sit so maybe an hour to run. But again, it all depends on your running speed, stuff like that. Uh, we need one of these now, don't we? I need more. I need more rope. But obviously, if you're on a PvP server and you die to another player, chances are when you get back to your body, you're not going to have... You know, your loot's not going to be there because they're going to take it. You sometimes get lucky, like some people generally take like your guns off you and stuff like that and then leave the rest of your loot. Just so when you do come back you haven't got a gun that you can go then track them down and kill them, you know. But yeah. The uh, the encounters in Scum are very far and few between. People tend to shoot on sight and ask questions later on Scum. Whereas a game like Daisy, which obviously originated from like armour, that um you'll find the encounters on there are a lot more interesting. Which is another thing I wish we had on Scum. Don't get me wrong, you can you can probably find that a lot more on PvE servers on Scum. You know, role-playing servers, that type of thing. Um, but general PvP servers are shoot on site. How many likes are we currently at, guys? I'm hoping we're at a good 30 likes. Go on, let's say 30 likes. I think that's reasonable, isn't it? If we're not there yet, do me a favour and hit that like button for me. <coughs> I don't ask a lot. So, you probably won't hear me ask again for a while. <laughs> it's very alien to me. I don't like doing it. That's why generally when you watch my videos and my series stuff, I do all my like subscribe and you know all that sort of stuff at the end of the video i don't feel like i've earned it from a new perspective you know if someone comes into it to my channel and they've never watched my channel before 
I don't expect him to give me a like and a subscribe straight away before they've seen the content, obviously. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit alien to me. I don't I don't generally like doing it, but if you could do it, I really would appreciate it. It does help me out. Twenty four likes. That's not bad though. That's not bad at all. We're only what? We're only an hour and twenty minutes in. That's not. That's not bad at all. Twelve arrows should be enough, right? Should be. Actually, no, it might not be. We've got two heavies. It's like three, four each. And then maybe a bomber or a beeper. Yeah, let's uh let's make a couple more just in case. Number thirty. Woo! Lovely, lovely. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. All it does is gives the uh, gives the algorithm a kick up the arse and pushes the stream out to more people. That's all it does. And obviously it's completely free for you guys to do that. It doesn't cost you a thing, except from a little muscle movement in your finger. You'll be surprised with, um, with obviously liking videos how far that actually goes for content creators. Like, I know you probably hear it a lot from near enough every content creator that says it, but honestly it really does. It really kicks the algorithm up the arse and uh, gets it out there. So I do appreciate it if you have hit that like button. But I can't like it anymore, Captain. Hey, can he do it, Captain? Hey, just can he do it, lad? It's just too hard. That's what she said. Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. Had to be done. Had to be done. Right, we've got enough arrows, let's go. Let's get down to those half moons, and then from the half moons, we'll, uh, we'll go and try and get our body back. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we find a EMP grenade in the half moons. It's a very slim chance, but I've had quite bad luck over the past three, four days, so maybe I'm due some. Maybe. <laughs> Bow, good call there, my friend, good call. I do need a bow to fire said arrows, don't I? <laughs> Just gonna run in there and start throwing them like spears. Yeah. <laughs> I like how they changed this now as well. That you can just use a bit of rope for a thirty-five pound bow. So I used to have it as a wire for a 35 pound up, which is always a bit annoying. Oh, go on then, I might as well make the other two little arrows, eh? Nice and easy, nice and even, you know? 24 arrows, that'd do us nicely. There's a very high chance that I still die though, guys, so just, just keep that in mind, alright? <laughs> Don't hold out too much faith in me. Because I bloody don't. It's perfect. It's how it sounded in my head. <laughs> oh, we do have some fun here, don't we, guys? No. Hey, why? Oh, nice coffee. Nice bit of coffee. Oh, I can't wait for 1.0. I just keep thinking about it. <laughs> I keep thinking like running through running through here just randomly and you just see like an NPC vehicle come flying down this road like, oh shit. <laughs> I don't see how you're armed to the teeth. <laughs> I go for that basic survival class, you know. Bow and arrow. Perfect. I'm a true hermit, mate. <laughs> We had an M249 and everything yesterday. We sold it all. Got rid of it all. Don't need any of it. 
All I need is my bow and my six brain cells. They get me far enough in life. I mean, I'm nearly 30. They got me here. <laughs> I'm surprised how I made it this far, though, sometimes. <laughs> it does surprise me. Most days in scum, this would be on to the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> All you need in scum is a big set of balls, mate. And your fists. That's all you need. I don't know why I'm running all the way up this road. Get to the top of the hill and have a little lay down and survey. See what's going on, eh? Come on, mate. Get your ass up the bloody hill. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, we were going to the half moons. For some reason, I ran this direction instead of this direction. I think one of my brain cells is sleeping. At least we don't need to punch trees to start the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. Every time, I tell you, every time my child is outside in the garden, I hear her through the door, but I think something's in game to my right. <laughs> I'm like looking like, what the hell is that? No, it's just my child behind me, outside the door. Freaks me out, mate. That mech that's up there is going to see me all the way from down here and start shooting, watch. <laughs> oh, my luck. Would you like some of my cookies? Fuck no, buddy. I'm getting out of here. The half moons are nice and easy to get into, so we shouldn't have a problem there. As I said, the issue is going to be with getting our stuff back. I ran all the way down here. Hello, friends. Oh, shit, there's two of you. <laughs> Sit down, Johnson. Give me my arrows back. I want them. Get out of there before mech sees me as well. Oh, hello. Let's not do that. It's got to be an easier way of getting in there, surely. Wait a minute. They've changed their... um. Okay, they look to be uh, out of time now, so I might have a better chance getting in there. They've both got their back turned. I'll have to be quick about it. Let's go down the half moons quick though first. We may find some uh, better loot than we started with anyway. The only thing I'm really bothered about is my hiking bag. Everything else is just meh. Like the compound bow, we got another two compound bows in the car I think, so it's not a big loss. Yeah, let's go do the half moons first. There's always some good loot in them. Stop right there. Yeah, exactly. I was waiting for it. I 
I didn't think you were chasing me for a second then. I thought you stayed in your bush. Obviously not. Oh, just quickly, there are... Hopefully this is working now. Let's have a look. See if it works. I did play around with it yesterday. It should be working. No, it won't be working because I haven't added it as a mod yet. Dumbass. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be set up next stream. Got Discord and server lists and stuff like that on there. So I'll, uh, I'll sort that out for you guys. They patched the hole up here. Oh, they've patched the holes up on the fences. That's disgusting behaviour, boys. They've patched every single hole up on this side of the fence. Can't believe you've done this. Sit down. Leave me be, you heathen. I'm trying to work this out, alright? Really? So the only way in now, I'm guessing, is by the gate at the front. Which is a bit shite. I thought this would be a nice easy uh, loot for us. You're only going to start chasing me, aren't you, mate? So, may as well get rid of you now. Yeah, I need to add the bot as a uh, as a mod on the channel. Got to do that, so that's the bit I need to do. Is that a gap there in the fence, or am I just no? Didn't render in. So the gate here is the only way in. Then I guess I'm. He's gonna see me if I'm not careful. Where's the other one? There's probably more mechs walking around here. Looking at that, eh? Gotta be. bit of a shame. I mean, obviously it makes it more challenging, but it was already bloody challenging. <laughs> you know what? Run. He might see me, but run. He might see me. Just go for it. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's a gap there. No, I think he just spawned in and despawned at the same time. That was weird. That was really weird. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Oh. Kneecap, yeah. Kneecap. Arrows back quick. Lovely job. Didn't like how you moved then, even though you're ragdolling. It's weird. But you're getting back up. <laughs> this place is already being looted, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Oh, there's a helmet there, so maybe not. SVD suppressor. I mean, these should be some nice, easy loot in here. Get my glasses back. I say nice, easy loot if there was loot in here. <laughs> Another helmet. Got my fanny back, back. Lovely. On my bum bag. Wherever you're from in the world, you call it a different thing. Why does it sound like this mech's just outside here waiting for me? <laughs> just... It's like, surprise, motherfucker! I'll rise, motherfucker! Some fries, motherfucker! Hello, friend! No, I don't want to help you. Sit down. 
Can you hurry up and blow up, please, mate? Lovely jubbly. Sweet. Sweet as a nut, mate. You know what I mean? Damn, son. Talk about lose your head. Great. We call it a fanny pack. Yeah. Big people in England either call it a fanny pack or a bum bag. Don't really, uh, I don't think they really matter. Or really care. It's either or, really, isn't it? All the younger kids now call them, uh, call them man bags. <laughs> it's the same thing, just on a shoulder strap. Get over yourself. Right. It's, uh, what was that explosion? That was a beeper, my friend. So it's a, a puppet that has a suicide vest on it. And they run at you, and when they get into a certain distance, they'll blow up. Or, if you, uh, if you shoot them, they'll blow up. Or if you headshot them, they'll lay on the ground. And then you have a certain amount of time to get to them and defuse the bomb. And then you'll get stuff off them, like C4 parts, that sort of thing. And obviously then you use those C4 parts to go and raid bases. This guy's a beeper, yeah. This one that's got the vest on. It's making all the weird noises. They're quite funny, really. I do I do enjoy them. They're scary as hell when they get close to you, but they're funny. Kaboom. I'm going to ruin all my uh, arrows doing that, though. Yeah, we'll use them. We'll still use them. The only problem with blowing those guys up is it makes a hell of a lot of noise. And if there's players in the area, they now know that I'm here. So it's not the best thing to do, but there is uh, no other way around it, really, other than defusing it. But you need a high demo skill for that, really. Um, and yeah, it's on a timer, so you don't really get a lot of time to get there and do it. Just one thing I've always avoided. <laughs> I just like, yeah, I'll just blow them up and uh, deal with the consequences of a player if they come along. Oh, nice dial lock. Take one of them. That's all that bit. All this side. Alright, next one. Next and final one. Oh. You went right under that then, didn't you? Just in time, boy. You shut up. Very distinct laugh from a beeper. So you know they're always around when you hear them making those weird noises. Basically, a beep. What a beeper is is uh, it's it's like a puppet, but they haven't actually turned it into a puppet yet. Um, they've kind of gone insane. If you, if you listen to them, that sometimes they'll be like, "Help me, please help me." I didn't ask for this and stuff like this. And uh, yeah, it's a tech one just being uh, cruel, cruel people as they are. But the puppets aren't actually like zombies. A lot of people think they're zombies, but they're not. They're um they're called puppets because the the BCU that are in the back of their heads, that all the prisoners have. I can't see them because they're turned around the wrong way. There's a little chip in everyone's head, and that basically, when you die, Tech One can then reanimate your corpse using that chip by injecting your spinal cord with some fluid or something, and then that way you then come back as like a reanimated corpse. But it is in the in the law that the uh, tech one we're trying to make them like pay pay as you play sort of thing. 
so viewers that are on the mainland that view obviously the whole scum that the game show could control puppets from their homes and then obviously come after players it was a nice little uh it was a nice little thing to add in the law oh there's a few of them around in there all right we need to get out of it now but yeah i'm doing a few more law videos and stuff as well um to explain more about the game but yeah i didn't think that would work I think that was at me. I'm not sure actually because the bullets aren't whizzing past me. I kind of want to peek the window, but I don't because it might. That was at someone else, I think. He's gone off that way. I don't have my pistol on me either now. No, the mechs don't shoot at the puppets. They only, uh, they only, they're only programmed to shoot at prisoners. It may have been at me, because the mechs have been a little bit buggy lately. Sometimes they do see through the walls. You may have seen me through the windows and running past here, but I very much doubt it. Definitely wouldn't have seen me. Unless, as I said, he saw me through the wall. Yeah, he did. He saw me through the wall. Alright, cool. So, yeah. Max is still a little bit buggy then. They're still being able to, uh, they got their x ray vision still by the sound, looks of things. fun. Let's get out of here now. Um, Stop right there. You shut up. Don't shoot grenades at me, please. Why am I sweating so much? Let's take this off. Don't need that anymore, do I? Take that one off as well. Take all these off. We'll keep hold of them. The rags. We may need them. He saw me again, though, I think. Go. There. Please don't be stuck. Do sign your mug. Oh, great. Oh, no, there you go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Please don't speed up. Jesus Christ. Do one, you mug. Do one, you mug. Oh, he's hit me twice now. Jesus Christ. Oh god, grenades are coming. Fuck you. Fucking tear gas. Jesus Christ. Ah. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off already. Fucking hell. My god. Or right, at least we didn't die that time. How did he, he fucking clipped us twice, I think. Didn't take any damage though, did I? Alright, it must have just whizzed past us. The size of the bullets, mate. It's uh must have just been the air going past that hurt. <laughs> right, well that's that dealt with. We can get away from that area now. We need to go back for our body ideally. Got ourselves ghillie pants though, which is nice. It's bloody hot, is what it is. I'm wearing nothing. I'm still sweating. 36-7. We're alright. We're alright. Having a little sweat. I mean, it probably helped that we had the helmet on. Even though it didn't take damage, so maybe it wasn't the helmet. 
That's the first time I've been shot at by a mech and survived the past week. Every single time they seem to be killing me. So we need to go down and get a body. Which is pretty impossible for us to do, I think. Hmm. I mean, even if we can get down to this rock and lay down in the bush, chances are they still may see me. Because if they're seeing me through walls, chances are they're going to see me in a bloody bush. Did I get C1, did I? No, it's exhaustion C1. I thought I had, I thought I had a C1 then, and I missed it. Gonna count how much time I'll have. Because the other one's walking down this way. And then they should both have their back to the body at some point. When he gets to like here. So then I'll have to jump down from there to there to get my body. Like now. So he doesn't see me in the side of vision. Eleven steps after that, and then it's like three seconds, and then he turns around. So I've got to get down, loot my body, run from here to there in eleven steps plus three seconds, and each step is roughly a second or just under a second. So I've got like thirteen seconds to loot my body and get through that door before he spins around. <clears throat> Should be fun. Should be fun. This is risky though. If I die again, I'm screwed. <laughs> like, there's two bodies there now. Well, the first bodies would go, but yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking my escape route is just to get through that door into the underground bit. Don't really see any other way of jumping down getting that stuff and then running out this way because that other mech back there is going to spin over, spin round he's back here somewhere on the runway there he is and they're out of time again now bollocks that's not good to see if this guy sees me when he spins because he'll spin this way good thing we're here to cheer for you exactly that I don't need it mate there's going to be a ball lake getting in and out of there that's the issue I've got they're, they're not like synced you know what I mean? It's going to be very difficult for me to get down there with this guy here. If he comes back up, my body's like here. So I'm going to lose like two or three steps from this mech before he turns around anyway. So that gives me even less. It gives me like nine seconds. So Let's not get caught laying up here like an idiot. Oi, don't do that. Slow and steady wins the race and all that sort of jazz, you know what I mean? A sip of coffee. I'd say calm my nerves, but Give me a high heart rate, wouldn't it? 
God damn, son. See, I need to get closer before I make my move, ideally. And lower to the ground as well. I don't want to be jumping this height again because I'll just start limping. Bloody hell, that's not good. There's a beep right underneath me now. Thanks, scum gods. Way to throw a spanner in the works, mate. Say so you shouldn't see me from there. You might do, actually. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought... I th <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I thought you would have been... Further along. There's a beeper down there. I wish he stood on him then. Yeah, they can be distracted. Obviously, you can use smoke bombs and stuff like that to cover as well, but I just don't have any. I was hoping to find an EMP grenade in there. Because if you throw an e EMP grenade at one of these guys, it, 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 um, it shuts them down for like, I think it's five or six seconds. So it gives you time to run past them or get away from them. But there wasn't any in there. There was no smoke grenades in there either. So this is kind of impossible. I've I've put myself in a bit of a crap situation where I died because I was stupid and just like jumped off the edge. Are you just gonna stand there now? Because if you are, I'd appreciate it just for a second, please, mate. Thanks. I think someone's going to uh, stand here now and not move. <laughs> Which isn't the worst thing. I might be able to get down behind him without him seeing me. Wait for that other mech to turn back round. So there's no chance of uh, that one seeing me as well. I don't need two mechs over here hanging around. There's my body. That is risky. So risky. He'll see me as well from the side view. Um... Right, the only other thing I can do is... Just don't come up here, please. I just wanted to dislodge you. Go back to your patrol. Go on. <laughs> I hate how the characters do this when you've got a bow in your hand. <laughs> 90 degree angle, man. The fuck? Thank God for that. Right. Sometimes they just need a little nudge, you know what I mean? Question is, can I get down into a bush without being seen? Probably not. He's going to turn around in a second and see me. That beeper up here. Is he down? There's another bloody beeper down there. Oh, I think he's up here. I think he's up here on the cliff with me. That beacon's getting quicker. Oh, he's definitely up here. He's definitely up here. He's right behind me. No, thank you, sir. Please, I don't need you to be blowing me up right now. Let's try and get a different angle. I'm down. From the top. What are you doing? 
No way you've just seen me from up here behind this rock, mate. I'm sure that beaker was up on the rock for me somewhere. It's there. Right there. Now bugger off. Stop spawning in, you prick. Wait, there's no way that mech's seeing me like that. He is, though. <laughs> I'm so screwed. There's no way I'm going to be able to get my, uh, my body. But, I mean, we didn't have much on us. We had an axe, some screwdrivers, and that was about it. Because we left everything in the car. But I'm really trying to figure out if all the other entrances are locked. I really want my hiking bag. It's really all I want. Please don't die. Please don't die. Right, let's lay here for a second. Let's see if we get lucky with... Uh, downhill. Pretty steep drop though, isn't it? These guys are well out of time now as well. God damn it. <laughs> what to do, guys? What to do? Got myself in a bit of a predicament here, haven't I? Go on, that's it. You go that way. Hopefully you don't see me. Yeah, you did. Ah, Jesus Christ almighty. He had his back turned to me and he still saw me somehow. Okay then. That's totally believable, my friend. You wanna do one? You mug. Right, well, we're nearly at our body. Our body's just down there. <laughs> you do this without getting spotted by this prick. See us now, it's a bit of a fall. Keep going, you mug. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Please don't see me for the love of God. He's going to see me. This is not a big enough bush. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Just don't move. Just don't move. You might not. Right, well, there's my bag and my bow and everything. Oh. My heart is pounding, guys. <laughs> Adrenaline's pumping. Oh. Oh, I thought he saw me then. I thought he saw me then. I need to scoot back to get my bag and stuff, but I know for a fact as soon as I start moving, he'll probably catch me. I don't know if it's because I'm not moving right now that he's not seeing me. Oh, oh god, what am I doing? Let's hit my tab button. for him to go back and on his next pass that way we're gonna run for that door as quick as we can i think i've got everything on oh, my hat i've got a helmet helmet's better Hel helmet will keep me more protected right now the door just over to my left come on once he gets to like here I've probably got like three or four steps and then two seconds before he turns around. So it's probably about five seconds. And the other mech's probably walking down this way. So I'm going to have to be quick about this. Right, I'm behind him. Go, 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 go. Go, you mug, go. Bollocks. 
Bollocks. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You prick. Right, we got him. We got him. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, right. Give me a second. I need a breather now. <laughs> Right, yeah, so they have locked all the other doors up then, other than this one. Because that bit outside changed. There was never that fence bit outside this door, so... Looks to me there's only one way in and out of this place now, which is that door there. Says, hopefully. Yeah, it is, right. But I don't know if they've changed the mech's patrol routes down here or not. Or if they've just done stuff like foliage and like, you know, like added little bits to it and shut the areas off. That's changed a bit. It's been a while since I've been down here to be absolutely honest with you. I'm just going to wait for this door to open so I can close it again. At least then if someone else comes in, I'll be able to hear them open this door. Or hopefully, anyway. But nice. Got a compound bow back. Got a hiking bag back. I can hear puppets in the walls, which is lovely. Yeah, they've changed this completely. None of this was here before. If only, eh? If only we could get in these bad boys. <laughs> the tractor, yes, tractors are coming back very soon, hopefully. Operation Hall Ass. <laughs> it was. We've got a whole more ass going through here, though. There's more mechs down here, so. I think last time I was down here, there was three in the main area. Okay, maybe the compound bow wasn't the best for down here. Should have maybe kept the other bow. <laughs> Hello, sir. I was going to say, hopefully I've still got enough arrows, but I do. Close that back up. Can't tell if they've changed the layout or not. Isla's this exit out front, right, so... I think they have actually changed the layout slightly down here. It has been a while, guys, since I've been down there, so you're going to have to bear with me. Yeah, they've definitely changed the layout. So, yeah, you definitely have to bear with me now, because if they've changed the layout, then I have no idea where I'm going. Jesus Christ, I've already been spotted. <laughs> Operation Get Out Alive is now in effect. I have a feeling I may, I may die down here, my friend. <laughs> Uh, this will be fun. By the way, if it is too dark down here for you guys and you're struggling to see, just let me know. I will put a bit of gamma up. But there is areas with quite bright light, so obviously I don't want to blind you. Come over here, mate. Oh, I missed. Gamma. Gamma. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't take out one puppet that easy, guys. I don't think I'm going to survive down here. <laughs> get rid of them. Uh, get rid of that as well. We don't need it anymore. Right, then. Let's try this again without getting spotted by that mech. Is it a yellow mech or is it? Yeah, it's a yellow mech. All right, it's the old mechs. So it look like the old mech anyway. Uh, 
have a rake it beanie. Take that. Sell that for some money. Hello, friend. <laughs> Pair of thongs. Oh, there you go. Matchy, matchy. We can't wear ghillie trousers over trousers, but we can wear a ghillie jacket over a jacket. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, give me those ammo. Give me that ammo. I need that. I'm gonna need it, mate. Another mech down the bottom, I think. I'm sure there's two mechs in this area. I'm sorry. Slightest glimpse, man, and they're on you. Why I'm playing Ring Ring Rosie for a reason, guys. <laughs> Bastard. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get up. Get up, you fucking idiot. Get up. Why are you laying down? Get up. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Damn it. Right. I told you guys, a day of dying at the D4 airfield, mate. <laughs> at least we don't have to worry about getting our stuff from our body from outside now, so it's a nice, easy run inside. Annabelle, nice to see ya. Yeah, dinner tonight, 6.15. I'll be finishing around 6 tonight, so nice early dinner. You're definitely going to die down here, yeah. If you die here, you're done. Unfortunate death. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go back to D4 anyway, because obviously the vehicle's there. But I don't know. Is it worth just giving up? Is it worth it? Shouldn't really give up in life, should you? It's not good for the soul. You're going to die down here. It's got that Resident Evil uh, clip in my head done. <laughs> Little girl. Yeah, nice easy run inside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get rid of this. I do prefer the airfield looking like this, though. It's a lot more overgrown. A lot more, like, abandoned, if you know what I mean. Or less maintained, shall we say. Right, maybe we'll run over there. 
We don't mess around with that mech so much, running around Ring of Ring of Rosie. <laughs> our, body's in, our body's in a nice place where we can get our loot from, so it's, it's not a problem. Like, we can get around and get behind that metal fenced off area. And we can get all our stuff back. The only thing I've got to be worrying about is puppets. Because I'm going to go in without a bow and arrow. I'm not going to waste time making one. There's no point. I could die straight away again, so... It's a waste of time for you guys to watch it, really, isn't it? Let's get our balls out on the table, slam them down, and run in head first, guns blazing. Well, screaming at the top of our lungs. Ah! <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, I just need to get around to the other side first, don't I? Good help. Da 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 An ancient rocker, nice to see you man, welcome in as well. I didn't say welcome to you. I mean slamming balls on the table must hurt, not gonna lie. Yeah, when you got big cojones like mine, they hurt anyway. <laughs> I'm like Randy from South Park, man. I've got a wheelbarrow here just to wheel him around. This is why we keep backup kits in the car. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got loads of stuff. I've got a compound bow and everything in the car. The only thing I don't have is a hiking bag. Um, but, you know, it's not a massive loss, but... I'd rather loot down here a little bit, because there is some decent loot down here. It's just about getting to it. We should go the way we went before, from above. <clears throat> we got spotted easier, but it was, a, it was a quicker way in, wasn't it? Are you going to see me from up here? More than likely will, won't you? Strip naked, it will confuse the mechs. <laughs> Just run down the airstrip and nothing but a willy warmer. <laughs> Go onto that little ledge down there. Your mum. Your mum. Tell her she's a very nice lady and I didn't mean it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Where's he gone? Hello? He must be underneath. Oh, shit. God damn it. That. I need that to change. I hate that with all my fucking soul right now. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun now, isn't it? See ya. Come on, hurry up and open. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. I can knock down doors now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See, much easier when you don't need to get your body in it. Hello darkness, my old friend. It's nice to see you here again. Why have you stopped? What are you doing? Can you hurry up? Oh, I'll stuff you then, mate. I'm going. I need my stuff. There's puppets chasing me. God damn it. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up before he comes around the corner. Right, nice and easy. 
told you it wouldn't take long. Let's just not get caught by another one, eh? Then again, I don't actually know where the next one is. I don't think he's in here. He's in the next bit. Beepers, super. Yeah, exactly. That's why I made a run for it. So I ain't sticking around and waiting for you, mate. Bloody compound bows. He was behind me. Jesus Christ. I didn't think he was behind me. Get away from me, you cretin. You cretin. Oh, he's going to come around that corner. Watch out for the other one as well. God damn it. I don't remember there being a mech in here. I remember there being one in this bit. But not in the other bit. Not in this corridor anyway. Still over there. I can see his light. There you go. Go on, do one, your mug. Yeah, I'm on. After all this, there's best be something decent down here for me. Bloody Bushman. I don't want them. don't want them. Get rid of this, some of this stuff, though. Making us way too hot. We don't need to be uh, overheating now, do we? Where the fuck did that mech come from? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. <clears throat> can you retrieve the arrows? Yeah, yeah, you can do. They've got a um, durability on them, though. So after you use them after a while, sometimes the durability goes down on them. So, yeah. You will have to make new ones. He's just going back and forth, isn't he? God damn it. Yeah, if you full on sprint past the mech, they'll hear you. Um, I don't think my stealth's even that high on this character. Oh no, I've got an advanced stealth, but I don't think that helps too much anyway. Not with the mechs. Either it's been that long since I've been here. Or I'm just not remembering the layout properly of this place. I think they may have changed it slightly, but I don't think they have. I think it's just me thinking they have because it's been a while since I've been here. Shut up. Come on. I've got nothing to say about that one. I've got nothing to say about that at all. <laughs> oh, I told him to lay down. He stood back up. <laughs> and then he got shot in the head. Oh, bloody hell. <clears throat> well, back to D4, I guess. 
doesn't seem like there's a lot of loot in this game. What area is this and where are we looking for in here? This is a hardcore server, mate. So the loot is on one times loot. So it's very survival based. I mean, you can join servers that have 10 times loot and in every single container you search, you'll find stuff and you know what I mean? But yeah, generally we're on a, uh, we're on a very low loot server. So the probability of finding like high, uh, high take items are lower as such. You've got less likelihood of finding stuff when you're searching, you know what I mean? Things like that. But yeah, down in these places that all, places that are uh, guarded by mechs always have like high chance of good loot. You know, stuff like um, BMG ammo, snipers, or at 50 cal down there. You know, things like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we just give in now. We just give up with that. That annoyed me a bit. <laughs> the character just stood back up because he was too close to the crate. Like a bloody idiot. Oh, let's get rid of our card before we get shot and that gets stolen. Arjun, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you again today. Hello, hello, sir. Just had dinner. I see you parachuting down. Did the mechs get you again? Yep, I think that's the uh, third, fourth time the mechs have got me today. <laughs> oh... I mean, generally you can find guns um, over the map. Like if you go to a town or something, you'll have police stations and that there. Um, and in police stations, you have like lock blockers. You pick lock them, then the chances are you may find a gun in one. There's only drops. There's no drops coming down, is there? Oh, stuck on the tree. Cars over there. It's a big pain in the ass, really. Because even if we go back down and get our stuff, we have to get back out of that door and back past that mech anyway. Hmm. I think we uh, leave this for now. We take the car and go find a place to uh, make a quick base. Because we're going to need to start getting some mines and stuff around this car <clears throat> because when run red pill does inevitably inevitably happen people are going to come raiding yeah let's get back up to the car shall we it's over here somewhere bit of a pain in the ass Skill issue. That's all it is. Just skill issue. <laughs> My brain cells, they panic, man. Something like that happens and I'm like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Start hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> yeah, the mechs did win. The thing is with the mechs at the moment, they're still a bit buggy. So even when they shouldn't be seeing you, sometimes they do see you. Um, which is the annoying part about it. So yeah, again, the state of the game is still a bit questionable um, with obviously spawning and mechs, but we're in um, we're in early access, obviously, so we can't really complain about these things too early on. Obviously, once we get past the 1.0 stage and we're still having all these same issues, then yeah, even I will be shouting and screaming at that point. But when you load up the game, it tells you to be aware of this sort of stuff, so I'm not too fussed. Get rid of this. We'll get rid of the flag. Hello, Frank. How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you today. Joining late. I see you didn't fare well thus far. No, we've died uh, three or four times to mechs already, mate. <laughs> Lost half of our um, fame as well. Let's have a quick look in here. I don't think we've even got spare clothes. That's how, uh, how poor we are at the moment. No, we don't. <laughs> right, well, let's go get ourselves some clothes then, shall we? Let's go find ourselves a nice place to make a base. Let's destroy this flag. We'll make another one. I fought the mechs and the mechs won. Damn right they did. 
<laughs> the mechs always win. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. <clears throat> Especially against me. Sometimes I'm just not patient enough with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mechs just really hold a personal grudge against anything that breathes. Yeah, exactly, mate. Right. Exactly that. They hit anything that moves. Except from the puppets. The friends with the puppets. Oh shit. Let's not go too close to that. Get ourselves shot up, eh? I'm gonna be good. Any ideas for a base location though? That is the question really, isn't it? Need a good resource point. As in scrap. So anywhere near a town. I mean then again, you know what? There's a nice lake up in D3, isn't there? Want to risk it for a biscuit? Let's go up to D3. Shit, I didn't mean risk it like that. Not with the mech. I didn't mean that. Bloody hell. <laughs> no. Don't do it, you prick. Skills. Skills that pay the bills, man. Near the lake in D3, yeah, that's exactly where I was just thinking then. Another mech on that airstrip there, he didn't see me though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We go down the city. This big city is a good resource point, so sticking near that would be a good idea. I shouldn't really be going off road like this. There could be a lot of uh, there could be bases around here with bombs. This is the stupidest thing you could do on a PvP server: to drive through the woods, drive straight into someone's base in their minefield. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really search the bunkers anymore, Nikki. They're not really, um, they're not really worth it. Since all the loot table and everything changed, you just, you don't find any, um, anything, like, decent in them. Everything you do find is, uh, the durability on them is just wasted. Which is unfortunate. I used to, I used to love going to them. I used to go on foot and just walk around the island to every single one of them and loot up. It was a nice little, uh, nice little day out when you did that, but unfortunately they've changed them now. Is it normally not red pill on pure scum? I'm on the solo and duo server at the moment, bud. So I think they've got different um, red pill schedules. Unless Fozzy just forgot to put it on this weekend for the solos and duos. <laughs> Which wouldn't surprise me. He forgot nearly the other week to put it on for the, the last week to put it on for the main server. <laughs> Prison might be good for weapons. Yeah, it might be actually. It's a good call. Where are we? Let's get down to this um, get down to this lake first. Have a little look around, see is it, if there's a base there already or not. Get a nice little fishing spot if there isn't. I did lose my axe though, which isn't good. See any obvious bases? Nice. 
nice little area. Nice and secluded. Well, I mean, Noah's really secluded on this island. No matter where you build, you'll always get found. Maybe we just build around here then. We've got a nice little food source here as well, fishing. Just in case. Just in case, eh? Right. Let's grab that out of there. I've got any rope. Let's get a rope there. Might carry it though. I'll take it in your hands. Let's uh let's make ourselves an axe. Gotta go now. Good luck base hunting. See you later, Nikki. Thank you very much for joining me today. Appreciate it. Have a good uh good evening. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. You did find a fishing reel yesterday. Maybe it's meant to be. That is a good point, actually. I had completely forgot about the fishing reel. Uh, da -da -da -da. Got an axe. Make pies some rocks. Make one of them up. Lovely jubbly. Myself a really quick bag up. Then what we're going to do is get a little base constructed, I think. Or at least start to. What we need to do though is run down the town quick, don't we? Some scrap to make a flag. Yeah, damn it. As far as town to steer, we'll go down there and grab some. Plenty down there. Come on, hurry up. some fuel at some point as well I think yeah we've got a jerry can which is full so that'll give us some extra fuel to get to a gas station if we need it in case we're desperate And this will help us as well because it'll get our engineering skill up and then we're not going to have to use so much stuff to craft and that and build things which will be good. Oh bollocks. There's a tree there mate. Where'd you get your license? Bottom of bloody cereal box you mag. Isn't the lumber yard nearby too? Yeah it is. Oh that is a good point actually. 
Where is the lamp yard here? It's down. Is it D3, Lumberyard? On the right-hand side. I know it's up north somewhere. I just can't remember where it is now. That would be a good place to go to get ourselves some axes. Or a chainsaw. Is there not one scrap car in here? This whole town? Perhaps she isn't. That's a bit of a joke. Get out of my way, you mug. Oh, I honestly thought there'd be at least one scrap car down here, but maybe not. Let's go down to the city then, I guess. At least it's daytime, so I'll actually be able to see in the city this time. Get a load of scrap quickly. Get out of there. Give me that. Give me it here. get in or not <laughs> how many playing hours do you have in scum I'm at like 1050 odd at the moment I think yeah I never used to play a lot of scum when it first came out I was kind of like just used to come in for the big updates and then play it and then bugger off it's only really since like 0 0.6 that I've sort of played this daily defense and gratitude Gratitude dispensed. Deck Glenn, thank you very much for the subscribe, my friend. Much appreciated. Welcome to the community and welcome to the channel. Give it a moment, you'll be able to join in with the uh with the rest of them with the chat and stuff, mate. Right. That's enough. Let's go quickly. Come on, you mug. That puppet was hitting someone then. Nope, going after me. Alright, see you later. Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Yeah, I've got loads of, uh, oh shit, no, I don't have loads of extra clothes, do I? I need 10 rags, don't I? So, one, two, three. Bollocks. <laughs> I was going to say I had loads of extra clothes when I died as a prisoner, but then I died and lost all of them, did I? Stupid, mate. Alright. Let's just... No? Alright. Definitely thought that would have got a hoard on me, but...
search down there. Should find some in one of these garages. Find something useful down here anyway. Or not. I ain't got no room for anything, even if I wanted to pick it up. Bugger all in them. Bloody hell, mate. Got new, nothing. Alright, cool. Burn gel. Ugh. I want a bloody burn gel. Really hoping some uh, puppets would spawn down here with me, but they haven't yet. Just easy clothes from them. Good find for base building. God damn it. I think I have 800 hours. Damn, son. This is the, uh, this is probably the most hours I've put into a game, like, overall. So, yeah, definitely one of my favourite games. Other than armour, I love playing armour. Right, well, do you know what? Let's just go and get a horde or something and uh, run a few puppets down. You need a tactical shopping trolley. <laughs> Welcome in Moulded Salad, how you doing bud? Nice to see you today. Wrong turn. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought contact with puppets was on again. Surely that should run him down. Yeah. Okay. Can't believe he just hit me through the car like that then. A bit rude. Give me two C1 injuries. You prick. You actual prick. All that for a pair of trousers. Alright, let's get to the hospital. There'll be uh, hospital gowns and stuff in there, won't there? It'll be easier. Quickly have a look. School, hospital, same thing. <laughs> so, get on your mug. Yeah, board. I'll take one of them. Make a bomb out of that. Strips, I don't want them then. God damn it. God damn it. 
Yeah, I'm old. Give me what I'm looking for. God damn it. I'm trying to be quick about this. I don't want to leave my car out in the middle of the road just sitting there for anyone to pinch. Give me some hospital stuff. Why not? Use some clothes in here as well. Oh, God. Puppets. Come on in, you mug. But you mate it. Have it. That'll do. Two of you. Just get clothes from you. Get out of there. Lovely job. Another puppet. That's enough frags. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, boom. Let's go. Get my horn. Yeah. <laughs> like when you bring, when you forget to bring a sports kit for PE and they make you wear things from the from the lost and found pin. <laughs> Mate, I used to hate that. So embarrassing. Oh, shit. There's a big ass lorry there. Alright, let's get back up to the lake. <laughs> it got some air, son. Oh, there's a base right there. That is a big ass base as well. God damn. Alright, that's making me rethink my choices now because that is very close. <laughs> it's very close. Right. Um Bit of an issue, isn't it? Tell you what, it's ten to six. What we'll do, just for today, let's go back up to D four, where our little shed is. We'll stick this in there for tonight, and then next week we'll look at a, uh, a permanent base place, complete with PVP mushrooms. <laughs> exactly, my friend. Don't want to be anywhere near that. They've probably got a good old uh, sniper rifle or something in there. And I ain't competing with that. When did I take my headlights and my front bumper off the car? I don't remember doing that. I remember taking my back lights off yesterday. I just noticed the front lights and the bumper aren't on it. Unless they weren't there originally, but I didn't notice. <laughs> Someone stole my bumper and my lights. I've had that happen to me before. Someone raided me, but they didn't take my car. They just took all my lights off of my car. Cheeky bastards. <laughs> When I drove into the lorry. Ah, yeah. May have been worth. Good point. Yeah, you're damn right, man. You always drive it like you stole it. It's no fun otherwise, is it? Alright, let's 
trying to remember where it was. It's up here on the right, I think. <clears throat> you lost it when you caught that air. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I just didn't see it come off. <laughs> so, alright. Not like I need them. It's alright. Lights just give you away anyway. Just uh, we'll use this space for now. Tell you what, let's make this easier on ourselves, though. That was a funny episode, missing the lights. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, why would you not just take the car? <laughs> you just stripped my car, but didn't take any, didn't actually take the vehicle. You cheeky bastards. Just trying to make my life difficult, is all it is. That should do. That should do us. Hanging out the side with a shooter, channeling your inner gangster. <laughs> Pow, pow, pow. I have that side aim as well, you know what I mean? Cab on you, mug. Go in the other side. Thank you. All right. Let's cut all these up quickly. And then we'll make ourselves our... Um, Flag. to make up a toolbox as well. Not an issue. We've got nails and uh, bolts in the car. Da 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 Hey, we've got more compound bows in the car. It's not much of a loss. I think we've got two of them in here as well. And we've got a toolbox right there. That'd be jubbly. Nice. All right, let's get these cut up. Get that branch cut up. And then we'll seal this off and call it a day, I think. And then, yeah, next uh, next week, we'll have to find a decent place to uh, call home. Maybe near the radiation area. Be less populated, wouldn't it? Who knows? I'll have a think throughout the week. Let's see what we can find, eh? But the, the, uh, the truck will be secure. I'll double check on the red pill schedule for this server as well. Just to make sure we don't uh we don't miss it and someone comes and raids us while we're offline. Sideways style gives the ejected cases 20% 20, 20 more ting in it. <laughs> God damn, son.
Oh, wait. On that one. On that one. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. 17 sticks. I think I've got enough sticks to have One more lovely jubbly. That should be enough. No, it's 15 there. Bloody hell. Cut this bush as well, don't I? Planks. More planks. God damn it. Well, today was eventful. I did say it would be a day of dying at D4 Airfield, and I wasn't lying to you guys. <laughs> we died. Plenty. But lovely, jubbly. I don't know what we're going to do. Take this out of here. And then stick that in there. And we'll sit in the back seats and rest. Nice. Plenty of leg room for me to have a nice little nap in the back of the car. But yeah, we'll leave the, uh, we'll leave the stream there, guys. And obviously we'll continue next week on Sunday. I think my partner is working next Sunday. I will double check and let you all know. But if she is, then obviously it will be a 3 till 6 stream. If she isn't, then we'll do a bit of a longer stream. And I'll start from like half 12, 1 o'clock, say. So. But don't worry, I'll let you all know with a scheduled stream that will crop up on the Discord as well as the channel itself. So if you're not part of the Discord yet, obviously there's a link down in the description. Make sure you join up Discord. And then you'll get all the announcements straight from there. But thank you very much for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. Until next time. See ya. Shows me, makes me talk.